up guys just out here doing a little bit of grilling thought i'd do a update on the backyard Say we're out over there. Pushing out that newest little frond on that side. With McQueen kind of sitting recessed in the ground, but looking good. Chomp. Those are getting pretty big. Pretty happy with those. Go over here. Check this out. A little bitty trash bomb. Majesty palm in there. A little bitty, little bitty one. A little update on the small Christmas. I'm about to find some good places this winter for some of these. Like these Christmas palms and the big Christmas palms. I think I'm gonna leave this in the pot and try to overwinter it without it without it dying off until I can't keep that growing. It's gonna be a task, but we'll see. Table over here. The oldest frond right here is actually dying off, you can see, but it's pretty good growth. There's the one that's been I don't know if I can find it. There it is. It's been marked twice. It's growing, but this guy's getting ready to open. So, I'm good. Sorry, that. AC units on. Definitely kind of loud. Excuse my mega tree. We do a, a big Christmas show. So it's all set up in the backyard practicing. <laughs> but back palms. So a little little bitty prolifera. This came from the guy in North Texas that had a, a mother tree and he actually wound up losing it in the vortex, but I got this from him. Oh, several months before that. So, as far as that goes, this is the last little North Texas flipper that he had. Washing, washing. I think that guy's gonna go on the ground. I've had him in a pot for quite a while. I just repotted it this summer, and so. But this guy's not looking good. For whatever reason, it hasn't. I mean, that mark right there stayed that way for I don't know, 30 40 days haven't moved at all so I'm not really sure what's going on there a little tracky Bulgaria right there and Mediterranean I've had him I mean he looks decent but if James is watching this James palms I take care of the other palms pretty good but man seedlings I don't know they kind of beat me up Got another one there. He's toast. I got another one that looks just like him. But so if there's any tips on uh, seedling care, James, let me know. Here's the big guy. For me, for me, big guy. For, for our yard. Size is a big stable up front, but doing good. Losing a frond and getting another one pushed down. Down in there. Another two. Another little washing. He's doing fine. He's, he's been really slow. I don't know. Maybe, probably needs another pot. He's got a good size. Got a, got a decent sized trunk. had forever so it's growing it's just been slow real slow so the trunk looks good it's 
put out just this year. Now it's an old one, clearly, but one. That's the newest one. Full one, two, three, four, and it's working on five. So I'm hoping that in the next year or two it just takes off. But it's been in there. This is the fourth, fourth summer, I believe. So I don't know. Hopefully it starts putting on some real size. But a little agave down there. good and getting ready to take some in for winter so I mean that I mean that's still another month and a half two months away but still kind of seasons winding down for us zone pushers and that guy that I got that was already toast in the vortex from Tulsa they didn't never cover anything it was I gave it all summer but it's a toast so I'm gonna rip it out of the ground but other than that Thanks for watching. Drop some comments, questions, James. Hopefully you're seeing my uh, questions on the seedlings. Any uh, advice would be good since I'm about to take on some seeds. So, uh, but other than that, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.